Hey parents and students, let's talk about how you're going to access Google Classroom while you're at home. The very first thing we need to ensure is that you are logged out of any personal account. You'll open Google, you'll look in the right hand corner, and you'll see an icon. When you click on the icon, it'll show you every single account that you are signed into. We're going to click sign out. When you have successfully signed out of all accounts, you'll get a blue button when you're on the Google homepage. Now, let's head over to hdbe.net. From here, you're going to locate what's called our single sign-on portal. This is how your student accesses every single thing they need for school when they're at school and from at home. So the good news is this thing isn't going away and you will get to use it over and over and over again as your child continues to learn in Houston County. So your student will type in their username and password. And now you have access to Google Classroom, but where do we find it? You're gonna locate Google Classroom by looking for a green icon with three people on it. When you click on Google Classroom, a new tab will open and your students will see any class that they have been added to. Some classrooms they may have been using all year and you won't have to do anything to help them join it. However, they may have an invitation to join a new classroom. It totally depends on the student and their teachers. So this class, Ms. Spigner's Homeroom, I'm going to go ahead and click join. Once your student has joined the class, they will be able to access any announcements or updates in the stream area. And then if you look at the top, there's a classwork section where they will be able to access all of their assignments while we do distance learning. Should you have any issues getting your student logged into Google Classroom or into the single sign-on portal, please contact your child's classroom teacher.